A California man whose company carries a provocative name is hoping that the U.S. Supreme Court will rule against a trademark law that he says restricts his First Amendment rights. A lawyer for Eric Brunetti, owner of the Fucked Clothing brand, will appear before the Supreme Court on Monday to challenge a federal trademarking law that allows officials to refuse trademarks that they deem scandalous or immoral. Brunetti called the provision an unconstitutional restriction of speech that should be struck down. He also said that the underlying process is arbitrary, and that trademarks more offensive than his could be approved depending on who handles the case. John R. Summer, Brunetti's lawyer, makes the argument that an attorney from the South might find something, not nice, that wouldn't phase a lawyer from the Bronx. That means, you can register profanity if you're lucky, and you get assigned a lawyer who allows it, he continued. The Los Angeles-based clothing brand at issue, which started in 1991, can still operate under Brunetti's chosen name without a trademark, but doing so could be costly. For instance, Brunetti wouldn't be able to go after counterfeiters who knock off his designs. The government is defending the century-old trademarking provision, arguing in court documents that the law encourages trademarks that are appropriate for all audiences. The U.S. position is that the measure isn't restricting speech, but rather declining to promote it. But there have been workarounds in the past that could help Brunetti's case. Two years ago, the justices unanimously invalidated a related provision of federal law that told officials not to register disparaging trademarks. In that case, an Asian-American rock band sued after the government refused to register its band name, The Slants, because it was seen as offensive to Asians. The office, which also refuses to trademark something too similar to existing ones, refused to register fuck, T for being scandalous and immoral, but also confusingly similar to the already registered P-H-U-K-I-T-M-I-D-D-L-E-F-I-N-G-E-R was denied after Johnny M-I-D-D-L-E-F-I-N-G-E-R was registered, and Cocaine was rejected after Cocaine was registered. If Brunetti wins, the public is unlikely to notice a whole lot of change, his lawyer said. Retailers will decide what products are appropriate for their customers, and Target and Walmart aren't going to carry Brunetti's brand, Summer said. The Associated Press contributed to this report.